Hi, Spencer here. One of the questions I've been getting a lot recently is what trading software do I use to do my analysis and charting? So today I'm going to do a very quick crash course on this powerful software called TradingView, which is one of the most popular charting software at the moment. So what's, what's so good about this software? Firstly, it has all the essential uh, charting features and it also has a lot of uh, useful social functions like private messaging, uh, being able to follow different traders to, to see their trading ideas. And I think the most useful feature is that it is web-based, meaning whatever you, you draw on your desktop and on your laptop, you know, the same charts will automatically uh, be, you know, the same drawings will be there when you, when you open your mobile devices, when you use the TradingView app. So this is very useful because it is very hard to draw charts on your mobile devices. So it's important that you, know, you can sync all the charts uh, that you draw on your desktop or your laptop. Okay, so this, uh, I personally, I use it for charting, but I do not use it to execute my trades. You can if you want to, you have to but you have to link it to your brokerage account. Okay, so I'm just going to go through very quickly what are the essential functions. So we start off on the right hand side. This is the watch list. So the watch list is where you'll be creating, uh, you can tabulate all the, the counters which you want to keep track of. So if you're using the paid version, you can calculate, uh, you can tabulate multiple watch lists. For example, I have one for Forex and one for stocks. So if you go, if you want to add symbols, all you need to do is to type it in here. For example, if I search Euro Dollar, these are all the things that come up. I can further narrow it down by searching for Forex, which will zoom in to only the Forex counters. So there are a lot of different things that you can search for. <clears throat> so uh, there are some of the other functions. There are alerts, which you can set. Um, this is the private chat, right? So occasionally I get people uh, asking me about my charts and my analysis. These are the ideas where you can see the traders that you follow. And uh, for the actual charting, the most important uh, the, the most important part will be the tool, the tools on the left hand side. But first I'm going to start at the top. So you can see this is the name of the counter, right? The Euro Yen. This is the time frame. So currently it is at the daily chart. If I select one hour, it goes down to the hourly chart. So you can select the different time frame you want. This allows you to select what type of charting uh, you want. For example, if I select Heiken Aishi, it changes the bars into Heiken Aishi. If I select like Renko charts, you know, it changes the, the bars. Right? So it's very useful if you want to use the, most of the time I just use candlesticks as the default. Okay, so here you can add in your indicators, right? There are a lot of built-in indicators uh, that, that come with it. If you want, you, for example, you can search by like, moving average and you can just add in these indicators. Okay, so this allows you, this is the, the, uh, the single click buy and sell, right? Which allows you to execute trades if you have linked your brokerage account. Okay, so um, at the bottom, you can this uh, this one day, five day, one month. This actually uh, tells you how much data it is displaying. So, if, for example, if I click one day, it means that it will only display one day's worth of data. If I click five years, this means that it will show me up to five years, uh, up to the current date. Okay, so if you want to manipulate the chart, you can either uh, you use your roll, the roller on your mouse, right? If you're using a mobile devices, you know, it's the same as like zooming in and zooming out. And uh, you can drag and you can drag this, right? If you want to maximize it, just double click the left button. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to the functions of the left hand side, right? These are the key functions which you'll most likely be using when you're charting, uh, on the, you're drawing the chart on your charts. Right, so this is the cursor and the eraser uh, if you need to erase anything. This is the uh, the main tools, the trend line, 
or the arrow, right? So if I select arrow, I can draw an arrow over here and I can choose to change the color of the arrow. I can change the thickness of the arrow. Right? I can also decide if I want it, you know, dotted lines or you know, just dots, right? Or I can, if you want to change it back, just click on it, right? And you can change it back to the original, right? When you're done, you can always delete. Right, so it also allows you to draw your support resistance lines, right, the horizontal line. Here, this allows you to draw uh, new things like <coughs> your Fibonacci retracements, your pitchfork. The next, this allows you to draw shapes like rectangle, triangle, your curves. Okay, this allows you to add text. Right, for example, you can add the text. You can change the color, the font, and the size. This allows you to add more complex stuff. Okay, this is uh this is useful. It allows you to to actually uh, place your positions, right? To keep track of your positions. For example, if you want to keep track of a long position, you can drag, right? And you know you can put the target, right? And the stop loss, and then you can it will help you calculate like what is the open PNL as well as the reward to risk ratio. Okay, so the same for short position. If you just want to measure uh, the price, you can actually click, for example, from here to here. Uh, you can see this is a 9% decline, right? With um, you know, the, the number of pips, right? Like you know, the number of pips uh, over here as well. Okay, this allows you to add symbols. Okay, this allows you to measure, for example, if you just want to measure, right? You can tell you that you know this is the, the percentage movement, the number of movement in pips, as well as the number of bars, right? And over how many days, right? So once you click away, the measurement is gone. Okay, and uh, this allows you to lock all the drawing tools. So it's useful if you are going to transit to a mobile device because sometimes on mobile devices you might accidentally you know move or shift the lines around of your and disrupt your drawing. So you can lock it down here so that it doesn't move uh, you know when you are but if you accidentally click on the lines and uh, lastly this button here allows you to hide all your drawing tools so if you want to have a clean layout you can just click the hide button to remove the drawing tools right and the last one this is to delete stuff <coughs> okay so i've covered all the essential functions um, of the trading view charting software so the best thing for you to do, you know, if you want to really get a hang of it is to just simply go and use it, right? Um, it is free to use. They have a paid version as well, but the free version is, is good enough if you're not going to use it professionally. So just play around, you know, um, create your watch list, try out different tools, and pretty soon you'll be getting the hang of how to use the software. Okay, so before I end this video, um, you know, I have. Uh, I hope that you know you have learned something really useful about the charting software. And if you are interested for more videos and market analysis, then please visit us at www.signapstrading.com. And also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And I'll see you in the next video.